What if I told you there's a simple way of converting a black and white texture into a gold texture? It is actually quite easy once you know the trick I'm going to show you in this video. You might be tempted to use a recolor adjustment and then try to give that color look by adjusting the hue to a yellow orange color. Even though this brings us in the right direction, we need to add another adjustment to get that gold shine. We can do that by adding an HSL adjustment. In the HSL adjustment, let's set the mode to HSV and crank up the saturation and the value shift to 100% and a tiny bit of color shift. This did help a bit, but when we set the blend mode of the HSL adjustment to screen or add, we get a very nice result. We can keep adding adjustments to improve it, but let me show you how to achieve a better result in one step. I'll remove the two adjustments we just added and add a recolor adjustment. You might be thinking we just used a recolor adjustment a minute ago, but this time, instead of setting the hue to a gold color, I'm going to use the opposite color of yellow, blue. I'll also decrease the saturation to around 75%, and increase the lightness to around 25%. We actually have the opposite what we're looking for. To make this look like gold, we just need to change the blend mode of the recolor adjustment to divide. Awesome! Have a look at that. Nice, shiny, gold structure. Depending on your base image, you might need a small adjustment, which I will demonstrate in the next example. We again have a black and white layer, but compared to the previous example, it is a bit brighter. I'll add the recolor adjustment just as the previous example. A quick tip, you can save the recolor adjustment as a preset, which I already did, so I can use that preset from the adjustments panel and choose it to add it to my document. As you can see, the effect is a bit too much. I can try to adjust the values to get a better result. Keep in mind that because we are using the Divide Blend mode, increasing the lightness will actually do the opposite. Now that looks much better, but still a bit off. To really finish the effect, we can add a Curves adjustment between the Recolor adjustment and the image. By lowering the brightness of the image using the Curves adjustment, we get a much better result. If needed, I can go back to the recolor adjustment and fine tune to get that nice shiny gold effect. Pretty awesome. Let's check the next example where we have a color texture. When I open up the recolor adjustment and enable it, it doesn't really do what we want. The fix is quite simple. We just need to convert the image below to black and white. A quick way of doing that is adding a curves adjustment to it and setting the mode to grey. When I open and enable the recolor adjustment, we get the gold effect we are looking for. To wrap up the video, let me show you an example where we can use the gold effect to change this marble texture to contain gold veins. Just as explained before, I'll add the gold preset and adjust the recolor adjustment so that we have an appropriate gold look. This affects the whole structure, whereas I want the gold effect only in the veins. To do that, let's add the curves adjustment between the image and the recolor adjustment as before. But this time, I'm going to make the image darker. With as result, the gold effect is only affecting the lighter veins in the texture. We got the veins colored in gold and now we need to get back the texture. To do that, let's duplicate the image and move this duplicate to the top of the layer stack. When I change the blend mode of this duplicate to luminosity, look what happens. That is freaking cool. I hope you liked this video and learned something new today. Thanks again for tuning in and hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave. Until the next video.